Hi, and welcome to the 2019 paper two. Uh, this is the first question of the Leave Insert Maths. And just want to point out that if you want to set the set notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. The email address should be in the description below. So as usual, I suggest you pause the video and have a go at this. We're looking here at question one at a stem and leaf plot. These have been very common in the last few years. And the way they work basically is you're given a kind of a, a, a format like this. You identify the key. Now, in this case, we're going up each uh, 10. And then the, the unit part of each 10 can be written in these boxes here. And the key is written, so one uh, well, line, vertical line, whatever. Uh, I don't know what that's called. And then nine represents 19 years. So one line two would be 12. 2, line 4 would be 24. So we're given a whole pile of data here now. I've organised these by increasing size in the notes. If I do fill in just this top one here, if I look to the data, see how many 19, how many, I suppose, numbers in the tens are there. One there, one here, one here. Okay, and that's the rest of them, okay. So I can write that as the A, so an 18. An 18 and a 19. Now, it can be very easy to make a mistake, and in fact, I had half made this video not to delete it because I realized I've made an error in the notes. Um, so it's, it can be very easy to make it. If you do make an error, it'd be a consistent error. So you might lose a mark here, um, but then the answers later on would be consistent based on the answer. So that in the case of the mistake I made, I wouldn't have actually lost that many marks. Um, so I've written out the numbers now. This is not necessary to do, but I've written it out to help me figure out which goes where. And the mistake I made was instead of being 34, 24, 25, I had thought that second 24 was a 35. And that was reflected here in the error um, in my data uh, up here. Okay, so it can again, be very, very easy to make a mistake. So it's part A. Now part B here says, find the percentage of employees who are older than 40 years of age. And the answer here, I've taken a screen print of the data from the previous question, and just highlighted all the people who are in their 40s. I count up how many of them there is, there's 14, out of the total 28 people. So I end up creating the fraction. To make that percentage, you multiply by 100, put it to the calculator, whatever, and I got 50%. Happy days. Part C here says one employee is chosen at random on a day when all employees are present at work, so all 28. So that's the total number of possible employees. We're looking for the probability that the employee is a, employee is a teenager. If I just flick back to the data before, these are all the people who are less than 20. So it's three of them, okay? So three out of the 28 is basically your answer, okay? Part two then says, find the probability that the employee chosen is a person in their 30s whose age is even, or a person in their 40s whose age is odd. Okay, so I've um, basically screen grabbed the data as well, and I've highlighted here, now the people who are in their 30s are all these, whose age is even is this one, this one, and this one. Now, or means add, okay, and the people in their 40s whose age is odd, okay, these people are on their 40s, that's odd, 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 and odd. So that's three people, uh, or means add, plus, so the four, so three out of the 28 plus four out of the 28 in total gives me seven out of the 28 people. It's okay, a lot, a lot of words, so it's hard to figure out what's going on. When you have the data there, it's, you can mess with it and see if you can figure out the thing. In the sense, if you're struggling with probability questions, trying to get the attempt okay, will be a, you know, as valid a uh, strategy as any. Get something out of the question. And some people find probability very tricky, myself included. Okay, so that's question two. Question one finished. So thanks very much, and see you on question two.